All right, guys. So today I wanted to address a very common issue that people have with a clickable parent uh, technique where this heading, for example, up here, we look at this card heading. So I've got an H3 here, which we've got the clickable parent class on, which is an ACSS uh, utility class. It's a common practice. Um, it's not just an ACSS. You find this everywhere uh, where what that does is on the link below it, it adds an after pseudo element. And that basically is absolutely positioned to fill its parent, which is relative. So if we go to the card above this, we've got our card set to a position of a relative somewhere here in the settings here. Where are we? There we go. Position relative there. So a card is position relative. Uh, we come down the DOM, we get to the after pseudo element, which is positioned as a absolute position with an inset of zero, which means it goes to all four corners of its nearest relative parent. Okay, so that's pretty much what clickable parent does. It adds a empty or a transparent element, which fills the parent and just makes the link bigger. So the link is actually the whole size of its parent, even though you can't see that. All right, so that's what the clickable parent actually does. That works beautifully. Now, the problem we've got is when you start trying to animate these things on hover, for example. So I'm going to pick my heading three. I'm going to show you the problem straight away. If I transform, so a transform of translate, uh, we'll translate the X of 10 pixels. So you can see my heading moved across by 10 pixels. But if I roll my mouse over, you see my point is gone. If we look at the after element now, the after element is now only covering the actual heading text, not the entire parent. If I untick this transform, then I get back to having my clickable parent working properly. Transform and my clickable parent does not work anymore. So what the problem is, is that this is based on the positioning box model. So from the positioning box model, we've told our card to be our relative parent. So that's the relative box. Down at the after pseudo element, we've told that to be absolutely positioned to all four corners of our nearest relative box. So that's the card. As soon as you apply a transform to any part of the element, so the, it could have been the H3 here, could have been the, uh, the link, or it could be a box that that's in, it could be another div that's sitting in, so even this card header. In fact, I might just show you that. So if I take the uh, transform off there, and we'll translate the box above it, so we're back to having clickable parent, go back to the box above it, which is this header box, and we're going to add the transform by 10 pixels there, so transfer the whole lot. And again, we've lost our parent. So what it's done now is if we look at the after element there, now it's working inside that box, but it's not working um, for the parent. So when you transform, it changes the box model. So the box model is no longer relevant to the uh, to its parent up the DOM. So that's the problem that we've got with it. So how do we fix this? We basically, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, you can put a box around the whole thing and transform the box and make the box the whole size of the card. I don't like that idea. Uh, or you don't use the transform um, to, uh, to animate or move your elements. Um, that's my preferred method. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm going to go back to my DOM, uh, back to the Bricks Editor, and I've got my class here. I'm actually, I'll run through this a little bit later. I'm just going to show you using the transform. So I'm actually going to use my translates. If I come back to this and I go to front end and I roll my mouse over, if I have a look at my element here, it's working, but when I roll my mouse over, I don't have the clickable parent. So it looks like it's going to work, right? Let's refresh that. If I click on that and I roll my mouse over, see, it looks like it's going to work. But once you roll your mouse over it, you lose the clickable parent. And if you use your mouse, you can see that only this heading here is actually clickable. And that's because I've transformed on hover, I've transformed the position of these elements. So what I'm going to do instead 
and I just comment that back out and we'll uncomment the margin or the uh, margin block start properties and I'll come back to get to explain how this works a little bit later all right now if we roll over now we've got an animation it's a different animation but we've got an animation but we've still got our clickable parent so if I roll over there actually what we'll do is we'll use the card it was my card we technically hover on the card so I'm going to use my force state of hover so it's in the hover state I've still got my clickable parent right and that's because the margin at the top of these uh, elements does not take it outside of the box model whereas transform does and that's the difference so we can still get an animation there is a downside to this and the fact the downside is that because this is actually taking up space in the box model uh, this will also affect elements below it so if we change the margins on the top of these elements here the stuff below it's going to move as well so you might have to think about this differently maybe put these into boxes um, but anyway if you know if you just want to animate these maybe you do want some body content here to move uh, in uh, unison with that as well that would work work perfectly all right so that is the fix for me uh, now just quickly running through this this is a typical way that I create uh, in bricks uh, so normally I try and do anything that is going to change anything any movement animations um, changes that I want to happen for under certain conditions I put variable, I create variables at the root context, which it makes it locally scoped to whatever class is selected. Uh, and then on my root, uh, I use an is hover or focus within, and then I just change those variables based on when we're uh, over the um, card. That's for if you want to detect hover on the entire card, uh, and then just change these variables. And then down in the CSS, we just use those variables so for example here my name which is the card heading uh, I've got my transition set transforms not doing anything because it's all turned off at the moment uh, and I'm just setting my margin block start to my name margin block start which basically starts at 10 pixels and then when we're hovered or focused uh, that changes to zero pixels and that's pretty much how I do it so what this does is that makes it really simple because you've got one single uh, detection of the hover and all of your activity that you want to happen when that when that occurs is just done by changing variables i like this way of doing it um, and i'll show you the other thing of doing it this way of using the is hover and focus within so there's my card i can hover over it and it works or i can tab to it and that still works so i still get my uh, transparency of my uh, my background uh, the overlay uh, changing and i still get my animation or my heading uh, which is the selectable um the, sorry the uh, the link so that's it that's the, how i do it um uh, that's one way of doing it there's many other ways but uh, if you like it well, let me know if you don't like it let me know if you think there's a better way of doing this or i'm doing it wrong love to hear from you thanks guys